Hello everyone, I am White Call. Nice to meet you. Today's video is about Rakuten's online storage. Let's get 10 gigabytes of storage for free. You can switch to English notation once you log in, so please rest assured. Moreover, as this is a recent service, many Japanese people are still unaware of it. By watching this video, I hope you all can gain an advantage. Rakuten, similar to Toyota and Sony, represents one of Japan's leading companies. Established in 1997, Rakuten initially grew around its e-commerce platform, Rakuten Ichiba. However, it has since expanded its business into various fields, including financial services, digital content, and communication services. Rakuten Symphony has officially started providing cloud services within Japan, and I will actually check it out. I will explain the process of securing 10 gigabytes of storage for free. Since I have a Rakuten ID, I will log in using this account. If you do not already have one, you can create a new account or log in with another account, such as Google. Once you log in, a screen like the one in the video will be displayed. Now, let's go ahead and get the 10 gigabyte. Here, I will explain what online storage actually is. Online storage, also known as cloud storage, is a service that allows you to save, access, and share data over the Internet. This technology is widely used as a convenient alternative to physical hard drives or external storage devices by everyone from individual users to businesses. For those who find it absolutely impossible to understand, I will explain it in terms of everyday life, making it extremely easy to grasp. This is a metaphor I actually use when teaching others. I compare online storage to a safety deposit box. I use online storage to save my important data, so it remains safe even if my computer breaks down. However, since I'm the only one who knows about it, it might be difficult for those left behind if I were to pass away. Now, let's continue. First, click on Send File. Then, check the box to agree to the Rakuten Drive terms and conditions. The challenge list is located on the right side of the screen, so we will accomplish these one by one. If you do not understand Japanese, you can switch to English. Upon first login, one gigabyte was provided. First, you will authenticate your email address to get four gigabytes. It's appreciated that you can gradually increase your storage capacity by accomplishing tasks one by one. Check the registration email that was sent. Click on the link in the received email. Since I've cleared the quota for email address verification, I was able to get 4 gigabyte. Next, let's complete the account setup. This simply involves entering your name and date of birth, so it's an easy task. I seriously uploaded a profile picture and was able to get an additional 2 gigs work. I will also complete the remaining two quotas. Since I need to share a folder, I will create an essential folder. I will set up sharing for the folder I created. Here, I will create an invitation link so that only those who know this address can access it. It seems possible to set folder permissions, but I will leave it at the default, which allows for viewing only. I will send this address to others via email or some other method to grant them access. I will skip this step. Creating multiple accounts on the same computer might result in failure. There's a little bit more to go. I will send files using Rakuten Drive.
click the Send button and upload the files. With this, I was able to get 2 gigabyte. There's also a smartphone app, so I'll check that out. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.